yes. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to mention that when you know somebody's on probation, yes. Mm -hmm. And you try to fabricate a crime of them being involved in, yes. When my obligation was to contact healthy families mm -hmm. to make sure that they had the conditions of my probation, right. <laughs> It was really a malicious prosecution of myself, a hate crime. Now, uh, they would not in any way inform me yes, if they had got the conditions of my probation while I was on Guam. Yes, because when I traveled back here to Clallam County, mm -hmm, I was not trying to contact my wife. Uh -huh. They, as the domestic violence charity, yes, had an obligation to acknowledge whether or not they had received, yes, the actual conditions of my probation. Oh, now, I wasn't attempting to contact the petitioner, no, because I just wanted to make sure that they did know, yes, that I was on probation, yes, and the counselor's recommendation was the possibility of reconciliation. Now, since I had a mental health evaluation, mm -hmm, and since you went through and you filled out all the necessary forms for dissolution of marriage, yes, and then you maliciously arrested me, ooch, mm -hmm, and I was found not guilty, yes, you as a court had an obligation to remove the protection order. Malicious prosecution, hate crime, mm -hmm. Now, you have a copy of the original order that I had signed when I put that little C in there? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, mm -hmm, I'm going to want my rights enforced. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this expungement record? Yes. That's what I was calling about, as well as uh, Wayne's recommendations in the mental evaluation of domestic violence and child abuse. Yes. Now, we've learned... <laughs> That I didn't commit any domestic violence or child abuse. Mm -hmm. I'd entered into diversion. Yes. I had done what the court recommended. Yes. I had paid the fees and fines. Yes. And I was unsupervised. See, you know why it's malicious? Mm -hmm. Is when they, if they did know at the time of the allegation of the violating of the restraint provisions when you arrested me at the same time as serving me the dissolution of marriage... <laughs> It wasn't that they were alleging a violating of the actual law of the state of Washington. The allegation was the violation of the probation conditions. Now, that would have made it so that I'd, I'd have gone, I'd have gone away for a very long time. Now, judge. Mm -hmm. I was found not guilty. And then you arrested me again. Yes. Mm -hmm. In 2016, on January 4th of 2016. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you arrested me again mm -hmm. for the two count criminal complaint in Jefferson County. Yes. Where I gave you the first best evidence as proof. Yeah. And the second best evidence as proof. Yes. And then there are the million five hundred thousand emails. Now, I want this right now. I want this court. Yes, it does. I want you to remove the forgery and the fraud. Mm -hmm. And then I want to have prosecuted, yes, all the forgeries of Heidi Lee Budneck, poop, as well as all the fraud of saying that you've done certain things as a requirement of the law mm -hmm. when you didn't. Poop. Now, my anointing is such that I'm attracted to Marilyn's anointing. Yes, I find it uh, very unattractive right now. Mm -hmm. That when you use a picture of Susan Bauer, 